Hey, I decided to make this video in English, although I know most of my viewers would be Hungarian, but I have a very good reason for doing so. In the first weekend of June 2018, I will go to Slovenia to the annual science festival of Ljubljana, and this will be the third time I'm taking part in Znanstival. Znanstival is a play on words where the Slovenian word for science, which is znanost, I think, is contracted with the word festival, which surprisingly means festival. So Znanstival is basically science festival or something like that. This is one of my favorite science festivals in Europe. Science show professionals from all over the world, or at least a big part of it, gather in the picturesque downtown of Ljubljana to engage the public in different science-related activities. This year I will bring two different shows. One of them will be the continuation of something I experimented with last year at the very same festival and turned out to be great. This will be an improvisational science show. I will bring absolutely nothing with me. As demonstration equipment I will use only you as an audience and maybe occasional objects that you will have on you anyway. Improvisation may sound something I don't have to prepare for but, <laughs> but I actually do big time so you can get the most out of it. My other show will be called This Show is a Misconception. I will deliver it together with a French guy called Didier Laval. If you have seen him in previous years, well, he's, he's really crazy and that's why I love to work with him. So if you happen to be in Ljubljana in the first weekend of June, please come and enjoy Znanstival. Of course it will be free of charge. Well, I will probably also do electricity demonstrations and there will be charge, but, but it's still will be free of charge. <sighs> but the real reason why I'm making this video is that the organizers asked us contributors to answer six of their questions. So here you go. This year on Znanstival my mission is to use logical games and science demonstrations at an improvisational science show to challenge everyone, myself included. If you could pick the time period when you would like to live, which one would you choose? I would love to live at the turn of the 20th and 21st centuries because I think it would be fascinating to witness how the world changes more rapidly than ever before. Yes, I think I'm satisfied with our current era with all its benefits and despite of all its disadvantages. What superpower you would like to have or you already have? Well, I am a human being and and I think it's cool enough. If you catch a goldfish, which wish will you have? Well, apart from the tongue twister, I don't know, but I'm sure the goldfish would want to be released back in the water as soon as possible. And I really don't want to torture him. What is the movie title that describes your life? That movie hasn't been filmed yet, but it would be somewhere between It's a Beautiful Life and Apocalypse Now. Maybe with occasional glimpses of Psycho. Is there something we don't know about you and you are eager to share it with us? I originally wanted to name one of my dogs Carbon for she's being black, but my friends really resisted so I ended up naming her Kumis, which is fermented horse milk for, for no particular reason. Well, I was more precautious with science and tech related names when I adopted a new puppy, so she became Laika. These were my answers to the six questions. I hope to see you in Slovenia at Znanstival. Ciao.